been a few moments ago about power consumption on the Russian side. No source for concern. Uh, we are now within range of Russian ground stations as well uh, to receive uh, the picture from the Soyuz spacecraft as soon as we lose, uh, uh, as soon as we pass out of range of the tracking and data relay satellite system. And uh, this picture that you're seeing being relayed from uh, the U.S. KU band communication system to Russian flight controllers here at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov. Yes, pretty chill. Again, uh, the Soyuz is currently station keeping. Uh, soon to resume its final approach for docking to the Zarya module to bring new residents to the International Space Station along with a Brazilian Space Agency crewmate. This view from uh, the external cameras on the International Space Station showing the thrusters firing on the Soyuz TMAA to maintain a period of station keeping. Everything is proceeding in good shape. In Houston, Flight Director Sally Davis is talking to her Russian counterpart, Konstantin Grigoriev, here at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov, receiving uh, updates on the power consumption on the Russian segment. Grigoriev indicating that there is no source for concern, everything in good shape, as we are just now minutes away from the arrival of three additional crew members on board the orbital outpost. Karate. Okay, we are station keeping within the cone. Yes, what's happening with the final approach thrusters? You need to activate the command. In work. I am inputting 31, 0, 0, 0, 40, 7, 13. I've um, keyed that in. Copy. Do I get a go to send the command? Yes, you get our. You have our go. In work. Thirty-three zero 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 forty-seven thirteen. I've keyed that in, and I confirm. One hundred thirty meters uh, zero five uh, for approach. We copy. The Soyuz now has begun its final approach to the International Space Station. You can see in the center of the crosshairs on this view from the uh, external camera on the Soyuz, that is the uh, nadir or earthward facing docking port of the Zarya module, the Zarya being the first element of the International Space Station launched back on November 20th, 1998, to begin the construction of the International Complex. Now you're seeing the Soyuz moving ever so slowly in for its expected docking. Docking expected about uh, six minutes from now, possibly a minute or two earlier, depending on how comfortable the Russian flight controllers are with the rate of approach, which at the moment is right on the money. Station Houston, Space to Ground 1 for Bill and Power. Target and uh, practically within the crosshairs, there is some movement relative to your and roll, more for your than for, for the roll. As you see, uh, the Soyuz drift back and forth. That is uh, the function of the core's automated uh, docking system on the Soyuz that is feeding uh, radio beacon and navigational information back into the Soyuz computers to precisely align the forward docking probe with the Zarya module itself. About uh, 60 meters separating uh, the Soyuz from Zarya. The approach uh, going very smoothly, no issues being worked uh, by the flight control teams. meters and 0 0.34 for the approach rate. rate. Ground copies. Uh, 
после по 40 метров включить широкий объектив. The target is a little bit lower than we need to, and to the right. And uh, I have SSVP. Just 40 meters separating Soyuz from its destination on the International Space Station, closing at a rate of about two-tenths of a meter per second. It is a perfect approach by the TMA-8 for its link up to the International Space Station. Now switching to a wide view, uh, you can see a good view of the International Space Station. On the far uh, upper right-hand corner is the uh, Canadarm-2, the Canadian-built station robotic arm uh, that has made it to the Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station. On the far lower left-hand corner of your screen, down at the lower end of the Russian segment of the station, is the older Soyuz TMA-7 spacecraft that will be the ride home on the uh, early morning of April 9th, Kazakhstan time, April 8th, U.S. time, for Bill MacArthur, Valery Tukarev, and Brazilian astronaut Marcus Pontus. Again, this view of Russian ground stations from the external camera on the Soyuz vehicle. We've passed out of range of the tracking and data relay satellite system network, so we are not receiving views uh, from the external cameras on the International Space Station through the U.S. communication system on the complex. Uh, the uh, recorders on board the station, however, are capturing those views for replay as soon as we do a reacquire a television downlink capability through the U.S. system. Just uh, 36 meters separating the Soyuz from the Zarya module docking port, again closing at a rate of about two-tenths of a meter per second. The solar arrays on both the U.S. and Russian segments of the International Space Station were feathered uh, some time ago. Uh, feathering the arrays puts them in an edge-on configuration to uh, prevent any inadvertent pluming of those delicate arrays by the jet thruster firings on the Soyuz vehicle as it fine-tunes its final uh, few feet of approach uh, for link-up to the Zarian module. Flight Director Konstantin Grigoriev reports everything is normal. One final slight rotation, updating the computers on the Soyuz, precisely aligned now with the Zarya docking port just 19 meters away, closing at a rate of one-tenth of a meter per second. Range is approximately 15 or 12 meters. We copy. Target is one degree to the right and half a degree higher. Pavel Vinogradov reports a good approach. I see a roll. 14 meters separating the two spacecraft. Good closure rate. 10 meters now, according to the visiting vehicle officer in Mission Control in Houston. Target is one degree to the right. 
Now seven meters separating the two spacecraft. Flight controllers standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. One degree to the right, one degree lower. We copy. Great, zero seventeen. Standing by for contact. Uh, Docking confirmed. Capture. Okay, well, congratulations to everyone. You are. This is uh, the final stop for our train. The train docking confirmed at 8:19 a.m. Moscow time, 10:19 p.m. Houston time on Friday night. Right on the money, right on time. As the two craft passed over China near the Russian, Kazakh, and Mongolian borders, new residents have arrived at the International Space Station. Karate, this is MTC. Yes, go ahead. You can go ahead and deactivate the display in work. And there's our first view through the port one camera, the outboard camera on the port truss of the International Space Station. In the middle of your screen is the newly arrived Soyuz TMA-8 spacecraft. And on the left side of your screen, the Progress 20 cargo ship that arrived recently to deliver supplies to the station. Again, you're looking at the new Soyuz TMA-8 with Pavel Vinogradov, Jeff Williams, and Marcus Pontus aboard, having successfully docked uh, to the Nader earthward facing docking port of the Zarya module on time just a minute and a half ago at 8.19 a.m. Moscow time, 10.19 p.m. Central time on Friday night.